Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to do your love read. I did them yesterday, but it was a lot of noise in the back. From I didn't hear it from my end, but people were telling me to hear it on the video, so I'm going to redo it. I'm going to start off with some oracles here. I'm going to do 15, um, 15 on your love cards and 15 on your oracles because 15 is representing inner love energy coming your way or it's around you and you need to grab on it all right so i'm going to start off with 15 of these oracles they're important to us okay important messages and on these two okay so make sure you listen i'm sorry if i'm hitting that i'm going to get something softer just a second all right i got something a little softer to hit on here yeah i'm sorry i'm doing it on my phone something about um let's see Something about the computer. I don't know. Okay. Something about the computer. I don't know. It's accent. I think I need a microphone. That's what it is, babe. All right. Aries and good feel with you. I feel like you guys are concentrating on something. Um, some of it is dealing with job, money, stuff like that. It's also a relationship, too. It's not really a relationship, but you already know what you want to do about that, right? All right, Aries. Here, let's see what you get out. Oop. Just a second. All right, sorry about that. I'll do that over here. All right. Yeah, it's like you're struggling with, not struggling with something, but it's not that much. It's just, you know, something you probably need to face. Aries here. Same card popped out. All right. This is how, how's that for a happily ever after? Something you want to end, but you want to get ended on good terms. You don't want to end it on bad terms. It could be dealing with a child mother or someone you, uh, Something, someone you have connections with. Either you know you're their family or you know their family or something like that. But you don't want to end things on a bad note. It's not like you're trying not to be friends again. But if it's not fit for you to, to be in that, if it's not fit for you to be in that friend's department, then you have to let things go and just deal with whatever it is you guys need to deal with, okay? All right, yeah, because I feel like it's, something you want to do but it's like you got a lot of admirers you got a lot of other stuff going on with you and you just don't want to end things the way it is with this friend you have like you think it's someone you've known for a long time swim away from this situation okay like we're saying you want things to end on good terms here and right here it says swim away from it like let it go at ease it's not like you guys need to talk to someone here it's like you don't want to end this with this person it's like you don't want to hurt them. I feel like it's, I'm not going to say it's more than one person. It's, it could be. You guys just need to talk about whatever is going on. Because I feel like you want your freedom. You want to be to yourself for a little while. You don't want to be lonely or not need anyone. But you still want that freedom to um, get away and see what's, not what's out there, but you know, just some freedom here. Because you guys been through a lot of going on with different people. Not sleeping with them, but just you're going through ooh, some things here. Um, it comes with time and practice. So don't worry that you're doing something wrong. I know some of you think that you're doing something wrong. And it comes with time and practice, Aries. Okay, so don't worry about it here. Don't get too focused down on certain things that you don't think. I don't mean to put this in your read, but, you know, I should. Don't worry about it. God knows when that time to start reacting with something, you know, that you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it pump out there for you. You're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to know when it's that person. You're going to know when it's that time for you to say, okay, I want to settle down, or I want to do this, or I want to do that. You're going to know. You just need to keep a lot of other BS stuff out of your life. That's not letting you focus that's why i said don't bring everyone into your mix okay and this is sundress do it for you whatever you're trying to do do it for yourself don't do it because you're trying to get back at someone or you feel like you're getting too old or you're rushing into something because this season you know people with summer i think i need to find someone no do it when it's right do it for, that's why i said do it for yourself okay and that's what it's saying there okay you have to do it right here I want to have him going to um, and this is you can be your own knight make yourself feel good make your do like mother yourself or take care of yourself first especially make sure you rest it you know make sure you're okay Aries before you start 
even thinking or jumping into situations. That's probably why you're spaced out away from this person. You haven't seen them in a while, or you just didn't want to come in contact with them for a while. It's like you're taking a break, you know, um, from certain people. Because you, you really don't know what's going to happen. You're probably taking a break from them, or you're probably not talking to them too much, or something like that. These cards are heavy. Escape is come home to yourself. You notice how your cards are saying dealing with yourself. Some of you are probably conversing with people that's really, I don't know, I'm not trying to say they're being in your business. You're probably putting them in your business or they know about your situation. And it's hard for you to start coming to them with questions that's different from someone else that they know about you, if you know what I'm saying. That's why I said don't tell too much of your business unless it's to a loyal person, someone you trust, or someone like that. Don't tell your business to everything because they're going to be expecting something. They're going to be expecting something to happen. Like, what's going on with you guys? What's, no. Okay, this came out reversed. This is called Dragon Slay Them All. These are for people that were in your life. You know, some people that done you wrong or they're not talking to you anymore. They're blaming you for something or you're going to change how the way things are. This is what this is talking about. Just don't do anything wrong. Just know that things are going to be under control. These people are going to be dealt with how the way they supposed to be dealt with. Don't do anything. Because I feel like you're in that mood. You like, you like, some of you like taunting with your ex or, you know, trying to find something on them or something like that. I get a feel of that from some of you here. Okay, this is, it's time for healing, not war, Aries. I don't know who you're dealing with, but it's like a tug of war thing with the minds and stuff. It's like you're dancing around each other and no one's not saying anything like this card. Be honest with yourself. I'm sure you heard that before. So when you're honest with yourself, things grow. You have to talk about this. Because I feel like it's a back and forth thing with you and this person, whether it's good or bad, or you guys are breaking up or trying to reconcile or stay together. It's like a back and forth thing that someone's not speaking on something. You see your hair is like that. That means when you speak, things grow. Your mind grows. You get more knowledge. You have to you have to convert with this person, whoever you're talking to, and tell them you either want to leave them or you want to be with them either. Or I'm not saying rush and do it, but it's like something is bothering you. I think you're going around this person and they can sense something. Either you don't or you do, because I don't know what I see. It's more than one person. I'm not saying you sleep with them, but, and you're not really telling them the facts about what you want to happen with you guys. You're not saying it, all right? Remember to practice self-love. You notice you keep getting these cards about self-worth. You're probably, you're doing a lot of multitasking with people. You're trying to stay in relationships that you're probably not meant to be in, and it's causing all kinds of, you've probably been there. And it could be experiences from childhood or anything. And it's just telling you to do some self-love for yourself. Take some time out for yourself. You notice this too. This, see how all these cards are coming out like self, okay? All right. Just, you know, because um, I, I feel like a lot of you, most Aries, they have a lot of friends. They have a lot of people that they know, but not all the time that's good for hanging out and having a good time. But when it's something serious going on in your life, you need to just deal with that one loyal person or one or two the loyal person you can talk to about things, okay? Don't seek anyone's approval. This is the card that popped over there and you got it again. You don't need anyone's approval for anything. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, out of your shadow, and do what you feel in your heart. Not nothing too drastic or something that's going to draw attention to you like that because you know how some people are with certain things. But don't be afraid to do that, you know? And don't, like I tell people, don't have your expectations so higher than yourself. Okay, because you can't handle, a lot of people can't handle too much stuff. It's just too much going on and you're not thinking straight. Okay, you got to think clear. And then you got to prove yourself. You don't have to do that either. And this is don't be afraid to sing. I just said, don't be afraid to enjoy yourself, enjoy life. Everything is not always serious and on the hustle and bustle and I have to get this and we have to get that and I have to do this. 
everything is not that. That's just marketing and you purchasing something. You need to come back to nature, to yourself, and just relax and enjoy Mother Nature, enjoy yourself here. So you can get some clarity on certain things that you need to, you know, know about. Okay. Um, let's see. And this is um oh, is this one? This is we're all just made of stardust. We're all gonna make mistakes. We're just made of stardust. We're all gonna make mistakes, Aries. We're all gonna make um bad choices. I make them too. We make them every day. You know, it's like I bought that pizza of the day and I wasted money and ended up not eating it. I'm not just saying just pizza, but we make mistakes. Okay. Don't start looking back on the negatives of the relationship that you're trying to go into or, or you're trying to get out of or you're trying to start. Think about what's going to make it better. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make your soul feel better if you think about the positiveness of things. Okay. No one's going to press think positive with certain people. I get it, but you know, you have to do what you have to do to get past something to go into something new. And this is take control. Yep, take control of your own narrator. You write your own story. Don't let people write your story for you. Write your own story, Aries. Okay? Because it seems like someone's control, not controlling you, because you know when to stop that. But it seems like you like the chase. You like, but it gets to you sometimes. It gets too overwhelming to where you want to play, you want to stop. Okay? Unplug, relax for a spell. This is just someone relaxing. Relax for a spell, Aries. You need this. It's too much you're doing to yourself. And it's all good. It's all good. It's all blessings coming your way from helping or whatever the case you're doing. You're trying to go here and go here and be here. Then you're tired and you have to go back here. What is the problem with you settling? What is the problem, Aries? It has to be a problem. I'm going to go to your love right now, okay? It must be a problem here. You don't want to settle because you feel like you're going to be controlled. You're going to be trapped. And it's not something you really want. You just thought about it. And it just, you can always change your mind, but you're tired of going through that cycle. You're tired of going through that cycle feeling like you control. You're not going to be controlled with your life. You guys just need to compromise and talk about whoever you're trying to be with or work with here. And if it's someone you can't work with, then what do you think is going to happen in the long run? Is staying in a relationship like that. You can't not, don't be afraid of being with who you want to be with at heart. And you see a long-term future with them. Don't toy with someone. Oh, I just want to go on here. If you want to be single, well, you're single. But don't be, don't make yourself single and available. And you're dealing with someone who has a liking to you or you who sees some, something more than you. Tangle with people who like you. I just want to hang out. Yeah, me too. That's what you need to do if you're going to do that. Okay? Because you don't want to hurt anyone. No one likes the karmic sting. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to go into your love rate, Aries, here. I'm sorry what happened yesterday. This is unconditional loving, giving, and receiving, affectioning, falling in love. This is someone who likes you. They're probably sending you pictures or sending you I love you so I miss you. So you probably have that on both ends. Or whatever other end you have. Okay? So you're going to always have the flirts and things like that. You're probably an attractive person. Um, you're probably a good-hearted person. And people like that. They're attracted to that about you. And it's almost getting you like that. Oh, should I talk to them? It's almost getting you like that. But you know when to set boundaries. You probably get to know them. And then you probably like it. But then you start thinking about it. And you have to go away. Because you feel like you're not together. You're always together. <laughs> You're always together. It's just that you have this perfectionist about you. Like you have to be a certain way to be in a relationship. You have to be a certain way to get this. You have to be a certain way to get that. Natural is all natural. And if it's meant for you, then you just come as you are. If you know what that means. That's unconditional. That's whoever's taking you unconditional. And I know you don't like unconditional. Like, you know, um... Not con unconditional. You don't like um, conventional, you know, the regular. You want something that's going to pow, like pop out. But no offense, when you have those kind of situations, that's when things start falling. And the jealousies and the envies and the nasties start coming around. 
because you're push don't push out too much of your business here this is outdated thinking conditioning replying events all running in your head this is something you keep something keeps playing in your head and it's something you're getting tired of it's it's almost like you're hearing the same violin from a person and they're going to hear the same from you because none of you are not coming to the meeting of the minds about anything, about getting together or anything like that. Or some of you are dealing with someone who's had the same old issues all the time. And this is time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Some of you are mentally like this. You're probably not telling your person or something like that, but it's like you want to deal with friends now. It's like you not, I'm not saying you don't want to look for any love or have any love, but it seems like you just want to whew, have some peace and freedom for a while, but you don't want to push the issue on your business with them. You don't want to tell too much. You just want to lollygag, you know, hang around and talk, and, you know, do your thing, okay? This is take a chance, risk being strategic, options not showing hand gambling here. Taking risks these days, I get it, yeah, but it's just saying come out of your comfort zone, whatever is holding you back or making you feel like shrugged up like that. Because something has you like that. It's not like you can't move. I don't know if you have some kind of connections with this person, like a child, or you're living with them, or... Um, you like business partners and you guys came close. You gotta be careful with that stuff too. It's like something has you not taking a risk at things like you used to. And I think you put yourself in a place where you're like, we're okay. And this person is taking advantage of that. We're okay. Okay. You have to learn how to set boundaries for yourself, Aries. If you're gonna be single, if you're gonna be taken with commitment with someone, you have to make sure you're living by that. All right, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. This is how someone feels with you. It could be more than one person. They feel like you just abandoned them or you ghost them or something. I don't feel like you did that. I think you just don't have the time and you don't have the energy. And it's like, I'll get back to you. And it's something you're trying to get together for yourself. Like you're trying to save something or make sure something's okay at home before you start jumping into doing things. And it's going to take a while for you, especially with you. I'm not saying that you just want things not perfect but right and you want to feel comfortable with what you're doing just a second just a second okay we're back let's see all right um Aries yeah I don't feel like you're just being silent for them because you don't want to talk to them I think you just it's just been it's just been a not too much of a rough year and you just don't want to get into that you just don't want to get into any responsibilities of the heart. I'll just say it like that. I just don't feel like dealing with that energy, that energy right there. Insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. This is what someone you probably were dealing with, like um, not a one-night stand, probably a lover or someone you were dealing with off and on. And your passion was fun until they start talking about something serious. I told you when you do the intimate thing, people don't... I mean, I know you guys start off with, okay, no strings attached, but then it turns into people get feelings when you're, the souls are meeting, okay? <laughs> the souls are meeting. When you have intimacy, the souls are meeting together, and you're going to have feelings for each other. I don't know why people say lovers. Well, they're just lovers. And then when they go off with someone else, you're like, where are you going? No, you said you were lovers, okay? You have to understand this here, or whatever is going on. Um... I feel like someone is thinking about something serious with you. And you're almost saying yes, but at the same time, it's like, okay, wait, I, wait, you, know, you want to get in, your, you want to get your life in first. It's a lot of things you haven't done yet. You know, and that's how you think. Some people get married at 21, um, 19. That's too young, but some people do that. And you're just not that, you're just not ready for that not right now. Not all of you. It's going to come to you, though, when it's going to come. It's going to get serious, and you're going to feel it. Not for all areas, yours are going to come in different times, but it's going to happen, okay? This is um, the sword rose. This is um, clarity, truth, revelation, um, force, honor, protection, and power. This is what you're going against with someone. It's like you're protecting yourself from something. I don't know if someone has some blackmail on you or something. 
but it's like you're protecting yourself from someone. It's like, oh, you're not going to come at me with this. Like they have something on you or you have, it's more like they have something on you or you have something on them, but it's almost like some kind of tug of war with this person here. You don't need to go through this, Aries. You don't have to. You keep getting this card. Every time I read you, you get this card. Because sometimes I do the reads offline and you keep getting this engagement ring. I feel like you were engaged to someone before or married to someone and it was okay. It felt okay. No offense, it was the idea of it. You probably were not with the right person. It probably was the wrong time. I think it was the idea of you because you're thinking about it, but you're thinking about, you don't realize how you're thinking about it. You're probably thinking about, yeah, I was married, but you're thinking about the marriage part, not the person you were doing this with. It's like you want to do this again, but you're nervous because you're not ready yet again. You wasn't ready when you did it the first time. You're ready this time, but it's like, okay, with who? It's like, with who? Because you actually want someone who's, this is not for all of you. I feel like you want someone laid back. And I'm not saying you just want to run around, run over them and lollygag around the street, but you still want someone laid back. And you're not going to, there's no negativity and conflict and stuff like that. They have their selves together. You guys are not worrying about money too much. And you have something left over to go hang out or do something with or buy some kind of house or yourself. You want someone like that. You don't want someone just playing with life like a toy. Especially with you. You don't want someone like that. And this is love call. Okay. Um, this is someone expressing love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know it. This is someone that you are, you, I feel like you haven't talked to this person in a while, probably some days or a week or something. And it's like, they're wondering where you're going and they're still, you know, have you on their mind, but it's like, they're sending you love notes or messages or something or pictures or what's going on, what you're doing or something like that. Okay. I feel like you don't want to lose this person and you want to see them, but you're just not feeling the love thing. You're not feeling the hate, but you're not feeling the love thing to the passionate thing. You're just not feeling that right now. I don't know. It's like something's bothering you a little bit. Like you're kind of feeling like you're not in your right place. When you're not in your right place, when you're not in aligned with yourself, you're not you're just not ready to do something. You have a karmic relationship. And that's probably what you're dealing with here. Karm karmic relationship is not all the time uh, a negative thing. It's probably just something you're intoxicated with. It could be some uh, like a, um, some t turmoil um, with uh, or something. You probably have some kind of um, what do you call that? You have some kind of uh, said ooh, that words want to come out of my mouth. Some kind of high. I don't want to say sex drive, but it's something about this person. You have a habit of doing something with them or something. And that's karmic because it's anything coming from this. If, or you, you just doing this. And that's why those emotions are playing a part in this. And it's getting too heavy for this here. Letting go and loving you. It, it's just too much of that stuff going on here. And it's almost time for you to talk. I know you're thinking the holiday coming up. I don't feel like talking about that. Well, you you don't have to do that. But Aries, I feel like you guys get yourself in situations and you end up like, now I have to look for someone. Not all of you, but it ends up like that. Like I said again, please don't let people in your business. All right, don't let people in your business areas. So I think I feel like you do that. This came reversed here. This was um, empath narcissist being charmed or used, enable boundaries. This is someone you were probably they felt you were doing this with, like you were using them. In a sense, I don't think you were. It just looked that way, but I don't think you were. I feel like this person is probably their mind is probably letting you go, but their spirit isn't. Because they probably still see you on a site or probably still see you, see your number of pictures or something you love, and they're not letting you go that easy. They call a girl with a snake. 
So you got to be careful, like I said, who you're telling your business. So I'm not saying go through the world like, you know, like that, but just, you know, like running away from things. But you have to come to honesty and to grips with things and start speaking. This is finding out things coming to light, adapt to change here. Maybe you were on someone's site or... So, because some people go on people's sites, they tell them don't look at your sites, but they have them public. I mean, you can look at them, but it's like it's something you saw, and you're like, oh my god, I can't. Oh, really? It's like you're saying this. Okay, it's like you do that sometimes. Okay, okay. I don't know if they have a picture with uh, another guy, or another girl, or something's going on. You're like, look, I'm like, okay, and then now you're gonna start wanting to meet someone. You can't play like. Meet someone because you want to. And I know that's a habit all of us have. We get upset and we start wanting to go out and meet someone. That's not healing. That's just getting back at them in some kind of way. And it's okay if you do that, if it makes you feel good. But it's best to just um, remember when you first met them, how did you guys meet? What was the conversation about? I always tell people that when you first meet someone, make sure you know what that conversation, remember what they were talking about when you first met them. Remember, me time takes time and time cycles time to heal progress here. Gave me a lot of time. It's like you're using up a lot of time. You're healing from something here. I think you want to fit somewhere. You want to fit somewhere and say, this is my girl or this is my guy. This is us. You want to do that and you're just not feeling that right now. And it's almost like you're saying, I wonder why I don't feel that. Because it's how you came to this person you're dealing with and what you left behind that's still stringing along in your life. That's why I say you need to come to some grounded in your life, Aries. Okay? And this is unconditional love. Self-love, oneness, passion, attraction here. I feel like you want to get back out there to know that I still got it. It's like that's what you're doing. You want to know that you still have it. Like when you're out, you've probably seen it. If anyone's looking at you, you're not showing up, but you want to feel that flare. Like I still have it. That peacock, you know, the, the colors come out of the peacock. You want to know I still have it. I still got it. And that's what you want to know because you you were dealing with too much the past months and stuff. Um, with self, self-esteem things and stuff like that. Things are coming back to you from the past. And it's because someone made you feel that way. You know, it's like they... Oh, it's like they brought up something that you haven't heard in a while or it's something you, that keeps replaying in your head and you keep feeling like, I can't let this happen to me. I can't let it. It's like you're repeating that. I can't do this. I'm going to go strong now. And that's what you're going to do here. And you're going to keep playing your cards out the way you play them. You got lucky number 17. Well, you got the point there. This is um, awaiting messages, arrive, text, call, and email. This is someone who's back and forth. You're on that um, phone a lot, okay? And probably because you're on social medias or you talk to different people and they text you, they don't call you too much because I don't know who you're around or what you're doing. It's like they're f your friends, but this person might take it otherwise. It's like your life is about that, you know? Like they're like, who is that or what's that going on? Aries, you got to understand if you're a likable person, you're going to get that. Okay, don't think you're going to just find this person that's not going to do that. Okay, this is healthy, healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self loves, you know, you heard that before in other things. Make some healthy choices for yourself, get some rest, um, get some rest and start eating right. Because certain foods, I'm not a doctor, but certain foods can, you know, that if you're old enough to know, you know, you know that here. So, you know, start getting some rest. You know, so you can get back to yourself and feel good again. I know you guys remember getting that long nap and you get up and you feel like, woo, you want to feel that again. And you're tired. You're really tired here. Look, codependent relationship, fear of intimacy. This is some of you here. You don't want to let go because you feel like you're going to be alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. If you have a person who wants you, because I know you have a lot of admirers, it's just that you're looking for a particular. You're looking for something that has some security stamped on it. Either with law, finances, we can get a house or, you know, whatever you guys want to live in. And it's like you want to feel secured with things here. Okay? 
It's like you have to deal with fear more with yourself. Fear and abandonment. Those are the two main issues. And think and self seem like thinking something's wrong with you because nothing's not happening. It's not that. I feel like we were taught that we have to have a white picket fence, the wife, the husband, the dog, and all this stuff. We were we were taught like that because we've seen our parents do it. We see it on TV shows. We see it on commercials and stuff like that. And that's just that's just being conventional. Like that that's all it is. It doesn't have anything to do with nothing that your life's supposed to be like that. Okay, because I feel like you guys are doing stuff that's out of the norm and it's feeling very uncomfortable to you. Okay, and it, it doesn't have to be that way, Aries. Okay, okay. You just need to talk to who, this person who you're letting go or who you're trying to come to, either or whatever it is. Someone just needs to talk. And I know life is not just easy like that. Just talking, everything's gonna be okay. It has to be heartfelt, whatever you're about to do. And Aries, I don't think you. Getting all this money and getting this great job and this car and this fancy thing is going to send you to this love thing. I think natural is going to send you to this love thing. You spending time with this person is going to get you the love thing. You're doing things natural is going to get you to this love thing. You you need to learn how to feel with love. And I'm not talking about intimacy. I mean feel and listen and embrace the person. Not about getting this person or when you this you're I feel like you guys know who this person is it's like you don't I don't want to come to them yet you don't have to rush but it's gonna hit you it's gonna come to you it is it's gonna happen for you it's gonna happen soon as a matter of fact for some of you it's gonna happen soon you're gonna see some signs and stuff and you're gonna you know, if you see signs of something that you were thinking about, you're going to start doing that. Okay? And whoever you need to talk to, you're going to talk to them because you want to do this here. Okay? You guys, good luck. And thanks for watching. And I hope I see you guys soon. And sorry, I hope it's no... I, I mean, I listened to my videos after I didn't hear anything. I don't know. All right? But good luck with you guys. And I hope things work out for you. All right? Bye now. Thanks for watching.